Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to the RS Clips. I've stopped drinking about five years ago. That's for my yoga and all that. Okay, good. How does alcohol affect gut health? That's the best thing that happened to you five years ago. That's the best thing happened. Alcohol. Alcohol is very bad for your gut health. Okay, that's number one. In my practice. uh where a patient is drinking alcohol beyond a certain limit that their liver can handle they will present with a condition called cirrhosis where your liver doesn't work and they present with vomiting blood and that is the first sign of liver damage that you actually know i'm i'm talking about the punjabi patient that i saw because he was only 40 he came in with vomiting blood and i was so I was like, you're only forty, and the liver is nothing, and I can't. Did he look healthy? He looked healthy. He looked healthy, and then he came with vomiting blood at middle of the night at two a.m. So I went there. I put these rubber bands around this esophagus where you know it is bleeding. Uh, it's it's it's, it's cool, <laughs> but it go in, and then all this, all I saw was blood. I put a scope inside the esophagus. All I saw was just blood pouring because the liver is not working. All the blood is just backed up, and the esophagus blood vessels are not able to hold up anymore. Just ruptures. One second. So your liver processes the alcohol when you drink alcohol. Correct. Right. Correct. As in, you have different uh, juices or uh, different liquids that digest different food items. Correct. For example, I think fat is digested by bile. Correct. Etc. Which is secreted by your liver as well. Okay. Mm. Uh, the liver processes alcohol. Correct. So liver actually detoxifies everything. Detoxifies. Ah. So alcohol is effectively poison for your body. Correct. And your liver is noticing that it's poison, uh, processing it. Mm. Now, in that process of processing it, your liver is deteriorating. Correct. Now, if you do this regularly over the course of forty years of your life, or even twenty years of drinking, correct. Uh, over time, your liver becomes weak. Becomes shrunk. That is what cirrhosis is. Ah, okay. it has lots of scar tissue because it's not only detox. Liver is also having only certain amount of capacity to detoxify, mm. and when it is more than that, it starts forming scar tissue. We call it as fibrosis, and there are stages one, two, three, four. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes at least seven, ten years based on the dosage of the alcohol as well. So the key thing I'm trying to say here is that people think that social drinking is okay. Social drinking. When I grew up. If I drink alcohol, if my father knows that I drink a sip of alcohol, I'll be outcasted from the community. <laughs> in US or even now, if in any get together, if you say I don't drink alcohol, they're coming to you and then saying, "Is everything okay with your health?" <laughs> 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 Nothing wrong, great. And in the term, names of social drinking, we have crossed the line. I guess uh, I think it's high time that we pull it back down, yeah. and then say that liver is also an organ that cannot keep on saving you for the rest of your life. You want to know something naughty that I notice with people my age? People nowadays don't prefer drinking alcohol. Even smoking cigarettes is reducing a little bit, but smoking weed has increased a lot <laughs> <laughs> in all urban Correct. cities. Correct. I see this a lot. <laughs> I think people are very aware that see effectively I see a lot of people my age leaving alcohol because everyone knows it makes you fat uh, and uh, everyone knows these things about liver damage uh, and all. also with alcohol I'm coming to you as a former drinker uh, what happens is you e- even if you've drank a lot you lose usually at least with my circles I've seen the people lose the interest in alcohol uh, because they just realize the damage it's causing uh, to the body uh, this is not everyone but many people uh, 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 you know I barely have any friends who drink Every week, ha, ha, ha. but that wasn't the case when I was in college. Ha, ha. You know, I used to also drink every week. It's ha, just how ha. urban India is. In addition to alcohol, the non-alcoholic problem also contributes to the liver problem. That is where I'm saying that there's two B's: beer and biryani, <laughs> and belly. Three B's is your underlying problem for liver disease. So when you drink alcohol, you're just not going to drink alcohol. You're going to have side dish. Ah okay okay and you want to eat a lot more than usual so there is excess calories more belly fat and there is a another disease called non alcoholic cirrhosis just with extra belly fat extra obesity the cirrhosis can happen and 10 years ago the leading cause of liver transplant where cirrhosis the treatment for cirrhosis is you need to do liver transplantation there is nothing else there is no medication I can give you the treatment for liver the number one reason for liver transplantation 10 years ago was alcohol and hepatitis c now non alcohol obesity related cirrhosis has topping the list 
that's why i'm keep on emphasizing the fact that alcohol and uh, non alcoholic factors both contributes rapid progression to cirrhosis compared to before okay um again i'll come back to myself here uh because i've made all these videos on beer biceps so i'm kind of relaying a lot of that information as well uh personally for me and this is not the case for everyone but personally for me it was difficult to leave alcohol for the first month mm. and then every month after that it becomes way easier you reach a point where you don't crave it again mm. uh you reach exactly that psychological stage that you were mm. before you ever thought of drinking mm. at age 13 14 you know everyone goes their phase where they say i'll never drink in my life mm. and then suddenly college happens and you end up drinking is <laughs> our bad friend you know influences you it happens to everyone uh. it's fine my own experience was that i lost my craving for alcohol as well over time uh-huh. uh and i went from drinking a lot every week to this right now uh-huh. at social situations now i have like a fresh lime soda or something uh-huh. and as long as you're a fun person it doesn't really matter i think uh-huh. that's another reason for a lot of people to drink that they think they're too introverted Correct. so it helps them open up Correct. but that's a problem that can be worked on in other ways also Correct. all in all again keeping health in mind and comparing my health to the health of a lot of my friends who've not really focused mm. on these kind of problems mm. it was one of the best decisions mm. i'm glad i stopped drinking at 25 mm. there's also part of me that's glad i enjoyed a lot before 25 because i finished off that craving but at some point for the sake of your health uh I would personally recommend that try giving up alcohol, reduce it a lot. It really, really helps. And the other tip I can give is, you remember the circadian rhythm that we talked about, circadian rhythm, yeah, sunrise yeah. to sunset, and all those things. That gets blown out of the window if you drink alcohol at night. Mm. So I tell people that if you drink alcohol, drink it in the afternoon. So I propose the uh, U.S. government and also any other government to change the name of night club to afternoon club. <laughs> <laughs> Again I don't think people will be affected by this information the ones who want to drink will eventually drink because uh-huh. these are very personal choices that everyone is entitled to Correct. everyone subjective to reality and truth be told it's why doctors exist because people make wrong choices Correct very often Correct Go on No no uh why, why in this context I think I'm uh, my goal let me tell you my goal is to decrease 30% of my medical business by 2030 <laughs> if you follow with all these tips it is going to happen i will not have business at all 30% <laughs> but realistically realistically i'm going to have more because <laughs> they're not going to follow <laughs> yeah. people people are not going to stop drinking just because you and me have spoken about the benefits of stopping drinking correct i wouldn't have stopped drinking as a 19 year old listening to a conversation like correct. this but the pro- but one advantage that your channel is doing is that you keep reminding them so maybe they don't go for the second drink yeah perhaps that is the success in my channel i keep focusing on not eating late at night every video i always say no eat late at night so people say that okay when they see food at like 9 pm they are seeing my hearing my voice through the food and then say don't eat it so keep on repetitive behavior will change the brain wiring experience so. so if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this it's the artist clips